Check out our first time making this delicious seafood gumbo. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so it is May 1st and I am at home. I'm actually sitting at my desk because I'm working from home because of quarantine and everything. But in this video today, me and Erin are going to be making a seafood gumbo. We're really excited. It's Friday, so we thought like why not, you know, kick off the weekend with fulfilling something that like fulfilling our bellies with something that we really want to eat. And um, so we decided to do this today should be really fun so if you're interested in seeing how we actually create this gumbo please stay tuned so i'm actually wrapping up work here and i'm gonna head over to the grocery store to get some of the ingredients that we need and then i'm gonna head over to aaron's house um so we can get started so i will talk back with you guys later bye Hey guys, it's Erin. So Stephanie has made it to my apartment and um, as you guys know, we're making gumbo. So I'm just going to take you guys through all the um, groceries we bought and just all the ingredients that you need for your gumbo. And mind you, this is our first time making gumbo. So don't judge us if we're doing it wrong or we got the wrong ingredients or whatnot. All right, so I'm gonna show you the ingredients now. All right, so we're gonna start with all the veggies we got. So we got some fresh parsley, um, a yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, yellow onion, um, green onions as well for like garnish, celery. And then as far as like the meat, this is gonna be pretty much like a seafood gumbo, but we do have the andouille sausage. This is the hot andouille sausage. Um, we couldn't find just regular, so. Hopefully it's not too hot because I don't like spicy food, but we're going to make it work. It's going to give it flavor. Um, and here are just some shrimp. Um, then we have like some like crab meat that's already taken out of the shell in this thing. And then we also just have like regular um, crab, snow crab. Um, and as far as seasonings and things that we'll be kind of using that meat, we have Creole seasoning, bay leaves, thyme, garlic. Um, and then other seasonings that are already in the cabinet and some Worcestershire sauce um, as well. Um, and then we'll be having rice on the side with it. There's, we got some chicken broth and vegetable broth. And then back here is just some flour to make the roux. Um, also we have um, butter in the fridge and we're gonna need some like canola oil or vegetable oil, which we also have too. So that's pretty much it when it comes to ingredients. So what we're going to do next, we're just going to start um, chopping everything up, getting it ready um, to get everything cooking.
that was a lot of stirring. Um, I don't know if you ever made a roux before, but um, there's a lot of stirring. I had to stir for about 30 minutes um, with it. But everything's in the pot now, um, and it just has to simmer for an hour and a half, and then after that, we'll check back in. So now we're just gonna drink some bubbly and snack on some snacks, and um, we'll check back in with you guys later. guys so it's been an hour and a half and we are ready to prepare the seafood for the gumbo and the rice um, and then everything will be done and we can eat really did kind of take a long time but long time. hopefully it's gonna be worth it so we're gonna be doing like a little taste test now um just for let's, you guys yeah let's, you know let's how, just how dig it out. So let's dig in yeah see how it is how it turns out it looks so good though it does look really good let's see it's good it tastes like real gumbo mm -hmm. I mean, I was a little worried just because I might, this is like our first time making it. Um, it's I'm, so good. It's really, really good, yeah. Right, and it's like, it's got like a spicy kick to it. Yeah. I like spicy, Aaron doesn't really like spicy. But it's not too spicy though. Right. Cause I don't even like spicy, so it's not like too spicy. Cause we were kind of nervous with the sausage we got, that was all they had, um, was hot sausage. Right. So, um, I was kind of nervous about that, but it's not too bad. It's really good. Yeah. Okay guys, so um, if you want to know how to make this gumbo, um, we will put the um, ingredients down below in the description box. And um, if you watched the video already, you'll see all the like, step-by-step um, process. And if you have any questions um, about the process, definitely put them in the comments below. Um, but that about wraps it up. We're going to finish eating and probably watch some more like, I don't know, YouTube or Netflix or something. So that's that. Um, you got anything to say? Um, if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a big, big thumbs up and hit the bell. Um, and that's about it. I'm ready to continue to keep eating. So um, we'll All see right. you guys in our next video. Bye-bye.